100% wool doesn't burn. You put this down and then you bring your pan. Ah, like this. Voila, you have a nice little napkin ring. We do a lot of fun things, Carlos. We do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody, and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are, as always, your hosts Arne and Carlos, and we are here with some pom-poms yeah, today. Yeah, we're doing pom-poms yes. again. Well, we're not, actually, we're not doing just any kind of pom-pom, are we? These are felted pom-poms. Felted pom-poms. So uh, it's a really fun project, and uh, you might be wondering, what could you possibly do with a felted pom-pom? Actually, you can do a lot of things, um, and we've got a few examples here. Uh, you know, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've got eight pompons here in uh, a ring, and this is done with an elastic thread. And voila, you have a nice little napkin ring for you. <laughs> cool, huh? Um, I don't know if I would use this as a napkin ring, but anyway, it's an option. Uh, something that we do use all the time are these. Um, we've got them in this small size, and then we've got them in this larger size. And that's what and we're going to do now. That's what we're going to be doing now. These are actually um, really good for when you are putting, you know, like you've got your dinner on the table and you want to bring the pan or something from the oven and put it on a surface to protect your table, right? So you put this down and then you bring your pan and you put it on top. Now, because it's done, uh, because this is feltable, it means that uh, we've used 100% wool and 100% wool doesn't burn. No. So um, it is actually a great thing to use with a hot surface because it will not burn and it will protect. It's a little bit black. But yeah, it gets, yeah, but it's wear and tear. It's not burned. No, it's not so, burned. So um, it is safe to do this. Um, yeah, and we're going to talk a little bit about this today. Yeah. And we also got a new Pong Pong maker. We have never tried this one before. Yeah, this is a prim one. A mini pong pong maker because the the pong pongs we made, this was a five centimeter, mm -hmm. and the small one was a three centimeter. Yeah. So yeah. this one you can make two centimeters and three centimeters. So they would be more in this size when they're felt, or maybe. Yeah, I think yeah. I would do the three centim. This is this three. I like this size. Mm, very nice size. So let's see how it works. Mm -hmm. And I've got another pom pom maker here that I'm going to be. But using. I think I ha I had to look at this. I I really don't understand this one. How does this work? Or you just wind it around. You wind it around wherever you want it, and then you. you oh it look! Here. You can make like a lot of pom poms at the same time. How? How? Oh 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 oh. You put thread. Yeah, let's see. Oh, you have to put thread where this this yeah. are. So let's see. Let's see if we can make it. But you can wind around. Look, it looks like you can wind around here. Yeah. And you can wind, wind around here as well. And you can wind from here to here. Yeah, that's when you do a lot of pong pongs at mm -hmm. the same time. So I'm so good at reading these descriptions. So you can use your old pong pong maker, the one you have. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. And then I can practice on this one. See yeah, how I'm just very curious now. How does this work? No, you have to go around. Ah, like this. Yes. Okay. Genius. Genius. This is incredible. But maybe you have to count then how many you have to have no, but the same size. It's there. But I mean, how many threads? So this is five. Six, okay. seven, eight, nine, ten, more, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, two twenty. Uh, three more, two more. Oh, this is thick. Okay. Now you have to remember this for the next time. Well, 20. 20. Okay, so. But then on, in the, in the dis description, they use another yarn for the... But no, but you use I'm the same yarn. I'm going to use the same yarn, see if that works. Of course it works. Because this we made on the one you have. Yeah. But 
the one the but pong this pong. This is not a good one. This is a better one. Actually, we used a lot of that, those because they break all the time. So we have to buy more yeah. and more. So this is much more. better. This one is not going to break ever. So then you should take this. You want me to cut more? Yeah. Now it's time to have a crochet hook or something. So then I guess you have to go where these lines are and just make a, a knot. knot. This is interesting. What happens if we can't take it off? But you can. <laughs> okay. But I guess maybe this is quicker. It is, yeah. I mean, you're making multiple. You do like f more at the same time. You're doing multiple pom poms here. One, two, three, four, five. How many do you want to do? I do one on each line. So how many do you have total then? So I can cut you. Well, I'll just cut and you yeah. tell me when to stop. These are, these are very small. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Actually, I'll try. Let's try. Then you have smaller pong pongs. And it's not, it's like, it's not the end of the world if, ah, okay. if the... And then once you do it, yeah, you, you cut, cut it. Cut it out first from the back. But you see, it's not the end of the world if, if the knot are not tight, so tight, because this will felt anyway. I wonder if you should do every other, otherwise... I have to cut be... my nail. I mean, in the, in the soil. Yeah, It'll germinating. Germinate. <laughs> <laughs> it's spring, you see. Yeah, spring coming, yeah. Spring coming. Okay. This is exciting. Very exciting. So I try to keep the knot on the white dots. Yeah, just follow the follow the chart. But I guess we have of. to be careful now when we open this. I maybe maybe should have used a thinner yarn or maybe less or less. So we have to be careful when we open it so the yarn doesn't get yeah, out. But we can try it once and if it doesn't work we can try it again with And then less it goes yarn. straight into into the washing machine. Because when we do the felting, we put it in the washing machine mm -hmm. with uh, something that hits the balls, like yeah. you can use a converse shoe, you can use uh, tennis balls, balls pair, of jeans. pair of jeans, because to felt they really need to be hit or yeah. So, but and we, and for this one also, like what, the the thick yarn didn't felt that good the first time, no. so we put it in the dry cleaner. No, Is in that the, the, no, in the dryer. No, the dryer. Not dry the dry clean, cleaner. That's something different. Yeah. Okay. We went to the dry cleaner. So we've done, I mean, we, we've, we've, these <laughs> pom poms have gone through a lot. So yeah. we put them in the washing machine. Um, we didn't feel that they felt it well enough. Um, Arno came down to the sink and put them in hot water with a special uh, liquid that is actually used to clean wood Yeah, floors. and I used uh, like uh, gloves and, and did this, like yeah. felted them by hand, but I still wasn't happy. And then finally we ended up putting them in the dryer. And you know what? A lot of people swear by these in the dryer when you're drying clothes as well. So they're dryer balls. So you can, th so you mm. see there's another use for these. Are you ready for some cutting? Yes, I'm see ready for some action. Let's see how this goes. Are you sure you don't want to use this big one? No. It's a bit tight. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I don't know if this will be the nicest pong pong, but... But it, then once you put them in the machine... Yeah, so it doesn't have to be that nice. Because once they're in, once they come out, you roll them with your hand, you yes. kind of fix them. So let's see. Wow, this is going to be interesting. Now I have to cut in the middle. Yeah. I think we should have used the thinner yarn, but then, I don't know. No, it works. I had to take off something there. It works. If you keep cutting, I'm going to whack it on the table. Yeah. Because that's the best way to... But don't to... whack it too hard. No, Because no, you no. don't want to lose the yarn. And oh, then you so can... I won't whack it, I'll roll it instead this time. And take off the long yarn that sticks out yeah see it works it definitely works look you have to like squeeze it a little bit and take off the long ends and then i guess this will be probably be smaller than the one we have on the table 
You can continue with this, then I can show you how we make the... These are going to be really cool. Yeah. And then you can make bigger, if you go like this way, I guess. Or you can make knots on different places. How many was it on this one? Two, three, six. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to try to sew this, this together. And I found this yarn, this thread, it's from Japan. And it's, I think it's nylon or something. It's for, you know, when you do embroidery with beads. Mm. So it's, this one is really strong. So now when you do the um, coaster, just pull yarn through the balls and put them in the system. Make a nice coaster. Let me, how can I get into this one? I found this really sharp needle. I think this should be good. Mm -hmm. To get and if you're wondering the, what I'm doing, I'm getting carried away with my... I know, I, I, I can see because pom -pom when you get quiet, you're carried away. Yeah. This is for, this is actually for, um, this needle is for uh, pearl embroideries. You know when you do like figures of pearls? Beads. Beads. So, let's see if this works. You have to be careful with this one because this one can easily break. Oops. So now just go in through this one. This needle, this, this was a very good needle actually. Mm. I think that it's a little too thick. Uh, I think we need, um, yeah, let me try again. I have ne we never tried that before, but I think it. Yeah, it's trial and error. So I think we should do fewer uh, because we did, uh, I did six. No, you what if you 20. make? Hmm? You did twenty. Yeah, uh, yeah, but balls. You see, you can do twenty, but you can put one yarn in the middle and then one and one, so just four. Yeah, but we try these a little thinner. And make fewer pong pongs. No, not need green. So, but th these came out really nice after I put them in the. You call it dryer. Yeah. Not the dry cleaner. <laughs> That's probably expensive if you have to go to the dry cleaner mm. with your pong pongs. There we go. Nice. This is fun. We do a lot of fun things, Carlos. We do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we really do. I just <laughs> figured out. We now. have a fun life, don't we? Yeah, it's never boring. I mean, between this, pom pom making, knitting, cooking. You will see the little black dot where the yarn goes, but that's not a problem. Wait. Hmm? So first I did this and then, I, oh yeah, and then I tied the, the ends first, right? You know, this thread is really good. It's so strong. Oh, I'm loving the colorway there. The Thank orange you. and green is really fresh. It's very, very fresh. I know, I'm so good. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so what that's more what can we do saying. with these pong pongs? You can do, uh, you know, edgings on pillows. You can do, um, well, if you're not felting, you can actually felt them and put them on pillows. You know what I want to do? A poodle? No. Not felt the poodle. Okay, what do you want to do? <laughs> I want to do like a blanket for the car. You remember? I, I, maybe like it was in the, in the 70s or something. You could buy these uh, rugs made of uh, wood. Wooden balls. Be balls. It was like a massage when you were driving your car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What if you did that with felted pong pongs? I don't know. You could do a color scheme though. Yeah. Which would be nice. That could be nice in the summer for the beetle. Look. It's, it's coming up. Mm -hmm. Now I just have to figure out w which direction should I go. I think I... I think I leave that hmm. and then I start with a new one because this has this has to have a lot of lot of sewing because you don't want, to want it to fall apart so I think I go in like this and then I go out again this way Okay. 
Okay, we're quiet now. It means, <laughs> it means we're having fun. We're enjoying what we're doing right now. Yeah, I'm giving this one a new go. See how it works out. One more. So I think for this one you have to sew. You have to sew through like for this one is five balls mm -hmm. in each direction. So I guess it's good to sew through all that directions. Mm -hmm. So, but this is fun. This is fun. <laughs> it will take a long time if you do the one for the car, but it will be so stylish. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. I think we need more practice here. I think we need some fast forward now. Because if not, this is like watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> because we're gonna, we, we get like, it's like meditation. Yeah, this the thing is, you get really relaxed by doing this. So I think we, we have to do some fast forward. You know, this isn't working for me. Uh, I'm going to try the other way to do this pom pom, which is. <laughs> what is the other way? <laughs> Maybe I can finish the, the, the piece okay, for we the need, car while you figure out. We need thinner yarn, that's for sure. Yes, for the knots. So this mini pom pom maker. Oh, okay. They do tell you to rub. Rub. Yeah, rub them with your palm, with the palms of your hand. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah, I'll try. The like cooking. <laughs> <laughs> See, it, this is a nice size, don't you think? Yeah, it's really yeah. nice. And I like the I really like that colorway, I have to say. Oh yeah, look, it is working yeah. after all. And you see? Yeah, and you see when you put it in the washing machine, it will come out. It so will come out nice. beautifully, yeah. Like a nice round pom pom. Little felted ball. Ball. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure people are gonna wonder the size. So what is the size if you use your eyes? This? Yeah, like in centimeters. Well the the Pong Pong Maker was... No, 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 the, the pad. What's the size you're going to do? It's like 10... 10 centimeters 12, by 10 centimeters? 12 or, or, or 15 by 15 maybe centimeters or... But that, I think that depends anyway. on, on the yarn you use. Yeah. So I think you just have to make some Pong Pongs from the yarn you got and see what happens. Yeah. Because this is the thick yarn. But, uh, you know, Carlos, I was down in the thrift store mm -hmm. where I buy these unfinished embroideries that I'm going to finish yep. for someone who died or got blind or something. <laughs> yeah. And they had two big bags of embroidery yarn in wool. Oh, really? All yarn. You can't, you can't use it in a way. Like if you, if you have to have more of it, you can't find it anymore because... You can't find the brand anymore. Mm -hmm. But that is something I was thinking about. What if we use embroidery yarn in wool to yeah, make the cool. pong pongs? Yeah, that would be cool. I think that could be cool. Can you yeah. cut this for me? Okay, so these are coming out. You see? They are working. Yeah, they work. You just need to rub it in a little bit and it should be good. You see, you're getting good at this. Yeah. But anyway, it's just about felting these and uh, we use a washing machine. Uh, we put it in the washing machine and then we do, um, is it the one, one hour, 20 minute program? Yeah. Just add one thing like a towel or a pair of jeans or a Converse shoe or some tennis balls. It's the movement that felts, not the heat. So it really doesn't matter if it's um, no. whatever heat you have. I mean, as long as it's warm, whatever heat you put will actually not make any difference whatsoever it's, it has the felt because move. of movement yeah and uh and yeah i mean you do the program when they come out you you 
You know, you want to have a firm pom-pom now. Once it's felted, it should be quite firm. And if it's not firm, you can just uh, do the, repeat the process again. Um, put it in the dryer. Um, put it in, soak it in more water with soap, then put it in the dryer. Or wash it again a second time. There's many, many different um, Look, ways to do it. It's coming up. Yeah. And that's actually, let me see for the, Let me see this one. Yeah, you know what? That's a perfect size for a nice pan. Yeah. You see, the some of the balls are a little bit bigger. I think the green yarn was a little bit thicker. So they're a little bit bigger. But that is no problem. Because Doesn't when really you, matter you for... use it, it will kind of... Yeah, so this is one, two, three, four, five by five. Five by five. So there's five. 25 pom-poms there. And yeah, it will serve the purpose of uh, becoming a, a protective surface for your table quite yeah. easily. And yeah, and wool doesn't burn, so, so this it's is, safe. This is safe. So, so, so all you yeah. need, all you need, is some feltable wool, uh, which you probably can get in your local yarn store. Um, any kind uh, of wool that is not uh, superwash treated should do the trick. But make sure to ask in your store uh, which yarns available felt. Um, and then you need some good, uh, good old strong nylon thread. Yeah. Um, if you're doing a napkin ring, make sure to make to get an elastic thread and a needle that is long enough so it goes through the ball when you sew it. A good, nice needle. And now this one splits. <laughs> and you need your pom pom makers. You know, I mean, um, any size uh, really. Smaller pom poms, larger pom poms. Uh, I think that these could also make a really nice protective. Uh, surface for a pan mm. uh, in this color yeah so uh yeah and, and then you can do any color any shape you like you can do them round as well couldn't you mm. i'm you see now i'm i'm getting i'm like i'm getting quiet again because this is kind of funny <laughs> but i think i can't finish this the whole thing on 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 the film because it takes forever yeah, but, but I think I think you see now you see like how how yeah. it goes. Now you know the the idea anyway, because the I, basic idea. This is so relaxing. Yeah. So we hope that you have enjoyed this episode, and uh, I'm sure that a lot of you want are want to you know are gonna want to. Um, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Because you're like so into the pong pongs right yeah. now. But but, okay, you okay, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you can also use your leftover yarns if you have a lot of wool. Yeah, but it yarn. has to be feltable. Yeah, but if, if it's wool, it's felt it felts. Okay, so I remember Not super wash. I remember what I was gonna say and then I forgot again. Yeah. So uh, but yeah, I think everybody's gonna wanna <laughs> do this. You're gonna you know, you're gonna get get your feltable wools, you're gonna get get your pom poms and prim pom poms are actually pretty good. Uh, makers, sorry. Pong pong makers. Uh, and all you need is the pom-pom maker and the yarn. Um, and once you have that, uh, you can do anything you mm -hmm. want with them. But see, now I'm going through the... Now I'm going that way, so now I'm going to go this way. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Should, should we stop, maybe? So, very cool. So you've got these... Oh, that, that's good, yeah. yeah. And now I'm going this way. Yeah, so... And I just sew this and make knots. So it's pretty easy. I, I hope that we get to finish this once because it... It looks really nice in the, you know, in the spring table, you know, when we set the table for spring. And we have to use it outside because on the front porch because the one we had broke, the one in, in stone, stone. Yeah, yeah. So it cracked. We forgot it out in the winter and when we found it again, it was cracked. But. So in the spring, we will have this in. Yeah, it's perfect when you want to put your, your, your hot plates on, yeah. on there for, right from the oven. Yeah. So we hope that you have, uh, I, th I don't think there's much more to talk to <laughs> no, say. No, because this is so relaxing and... It's relaxing, it's easy, it's fun, and uh, I'm sure everybody's going to want to do it. So I think that people are going to be in a hurry now to go get themselves their pom-pom makers yeah. and their yarn. Yeah. So uh, we hope that you have enjoyed this episode and we really appreciate the engagement. So if you drop us a comment, if you, if you click on like, we really appreciate that. Uh, if you turn on your notifications uh, by cl clicking on the bell, you'll never miss an episode. And we'd really, really love it if you would subscribe to our channel. The Arne and Carlos family is uh, a large one and there's room for everybody here. And it is a lot of fun. Uh, we come up with all sorts of projects uh, for Sundays. And then on Wednesdays, we have our regular sit in it for a bit. Oh, this is podcasts. so cool. Look, look so, at this. Um, yeah. You could also do necklaces, by the way. You can do anything. If you want to wear <laughs> felted necklaces or earrings. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, maybe not you, but no. you're not an eerie. Did you kind do of the formal? I did, yes. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Arne is very <laughs> I didn't unfocused listen. right now. So uh, we will see you again with a new episode uh, next week. So bye. Bye. <laughs> you want some more? No, I have what I need. Oh, look. This is so cool.